All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and I am back with another reaction here. Peaky Blinders season two begins today, and I don't know if you guys um, noticed from my demeanor, I'm not feeling very well right now. I think I pulled a muscle um, somewhere. It's like under my left shoulder somewhere. I. But it's like I can't bend over. So I was like, I was really considering if I should do my reactions today. Um, I'm supposed to record this like the day before and I, I couldn't do it. Like I couldn't do it. So I just canceled everything for today to get the reactions done. But I'm still like laboring because I'm trying to relax as much as possible as you see I, I can't i'm trying not to move too much because i can't because it hurts it hurts it's really hurting me right now but i'm gonna try to get these reactions out to you guys might be might be coming out a little bit later tonight but i'm gonna try to get these reactions up to you guys um because i don't want to be off schedule so i have a ton of reactions i want to do all my reactions for today including the anime reactions that's supposed to, to come out tomorrow so here we go um hopefully i can make it through this i think it's like five shows i gotta record so hopefully i can make it through this man without having <laughs> i i i'm literally it's like if you see me if, if there's a laughing moment and you see me trying not to laugh is because I'm trying not to vibrate my body too much because if I laugh, it hurts. If I cough, it hurts. If I, if I move my right arm, it hurts. It's, it's like, so I'm going to have to just move my left arm. <laughs> that's, that's all I can do right now. The only thing I can do is move my left arm and I feel no pain. Like the left side of my body is fine, but my right upper torso is killing me you know what i'm saying so um you know i promised you guys that i that i wanted to be back on schedule last week i didn't post any because we took a break from the walking dead and peaky blinders because the season ended so i just took a week break from the show and come back this season two because there's no rush here there's no rush um so let's jump into it man last season um, ended on a, on a note where I really want to know what happened to Grace because, you know, the, the shot was fired, but you already know they do this all the time at the end of season, just make you feel, think that that happened, but you already know my stance on this time. Hey, if I, if major characters don't die on screen, I don't consider them dead. Okay. People die off screen off the time. Don't get me wrong, but I don't feel like Grace is dead. I just feel like that was just for dramatic effect because they know they got, you know, confirmed for a second season. So they just left that as a cliffhanger for us to think it over for until season two dropped. So we're going to jump into season two, man. Um, There's a lot. They, they're at a status right now, the Peaky Blinders, where there seems they have legitimacy. Billy Kimber is dead. Um, so their legitimacy, um, as in their business becoming legal, was pretty dope. And all of that other stuff that happened. Um, Tommy taking a bullet like a G. Um, dude is dead. Um, that was supposed to be dead. He's, he's, he's dead. Um, so he took a bullet. I think it was Billy Kimber that killed him, right? So, yeah, so there's a lot, man. Um, looking forward to seeing more of this series, man. So let's go, man. Season 2, Episode 1. Remember, it's on the Google Drive. So link down in the description. Go ahead and watch that reaction right now. I'm asking you guys this, please. And I'm going to start doing this at the start of the videos to ask you guys to watch these intro videos. Don't just click on the video and go to the link. Reason being, I'm going to tell you guys because you guys may not understand how YouTube works. YouTube, um, it also works on retention time. If you guys don't know what retention time is, is how long are people spending watching your videos? Are they just clicking on your videos and then clicking to another video? You get what I'm saying? Like, how long do they stay? Do they stay and watch your whole video? And that's why I want you guys to spend some time and actually watch these intros and reviews. Okay? Because um, it's tough. 
I want to have a presence to keep a presence on YouTube. I'm going to talk to my anime community also um, that watch the anime on the channel because it's very important that you guys actually watch um, these intro react um, review videos and, and, you know, watch the intro, go watch the reaction, then come back and watch the review. Because if you do not do that, then I will... I right now a week has passed and I only have like I only gained probably like about I think I want to say about five subscribers like that's never happened on this channel that has never happened on this channel where a week unless I didn't post at all and that's because I'm not really posting any continuous um that's because um, probably you, the YouTube algorithm is not suggesting me to people anymore because nobody's really watching the videos. They're just clicking on the videos and clicking to the, they're just going straight to the reaction, clicking on the link to go watch the reaction. And they, you know what I'm saying? So I just want you guys to know that over here on the TV series, because the anime, um, guys, they do come back and watch the reviews. They do come back. It's just that I don't see that I can check. I go and I check each video to see. Why has my retention time gone down so much? It's dropped like 30 something percent. Okay. So I went there to see and I realized that it's coming from just the TV show aspect. It's not the anime people that are doing it. It's the TV shows. It's the Peaky Blinders, The Walking Dead. You know, I'm not getting that um, interaction from you guys as in you're not watching these videos. Yes, you're going to watch a reaction, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, if you click on it, it's going to show up as a view. That's about it. But the retention time, the minutes watched, the hours watched, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not there anymore. And I wish I could post this stuff on uh, on on YouTube for y'all. I wish I could. But every time I do that, it blocks me. So I found a better way where you guys can watch full reactions with me and you don't have to pay anything. So all I'm asking you guys to do is to watch these videos. That's all I'm asking. Please watch these videos, come back and watch the reviews after you watch the reaction. That's all I'm asking. So go ahead now, click that um, Google Drive link because um, I'm laboring out here, man. See, I'm not even feeling, a hundred. I'm not even 100% right now. As I told you guys at the beginning of this video, like I'm in a lot of pain and I'm here doing this. Okay, so thank you guys for watching as always, man. Remember to come back and watch the review for this episode. Thank you guys for watching as always, man. See y'all for the review. All right, what's going on, guys? Um, so I just finished watching season two, episode one of Peaky Blinders, and it was a doozy. We did not get to see Grace. Which is something that I was looking forward to. We did see what happened at the end of season one. She actually shot um, Inspector Campbell. Um, actually shot him in the leg. So now he walks with a cane. And he's still a dick. Um, surprise, surprise. Anyways. Yeah, so what took place in this episode? There's a lot of, lot of new things. There's a lot of new things. Of course, we know... They're making bank now. So they're making bank. They're making money. They have offices. Um, they, they're just over there in Birmingham. Now they want to expand. Tommy wants to expand to London. Of course, there's going to be people who's going to be like, nah, nah, nah. We don't want that. John obviously doesn't want to expand until he got there and was like, oh, shit. This is what they're doing over here? Ah, shit. I'm down. I'm down now. So, um, so that was pretty interesting. So... Aunt Polly, you know, she's been having this dream, so she went to see a psychic. And, of course, the psychic is going to confirm your worst fears because that's what they do because they want you emotional so you come back. You get what I'm saying? That's what they do. It's a scam, guys. It's a scam. Okay? So never go see psychics, man. They're scamming you. They're reading your body language because they have to know the story, and then they pretend to be somebody else, somebody some ghosts coming. Listen, man, people dead, they're dead. They're dead. They're gone. Mourn them. Move on. Okay. But a lot of interesting stuff happened here. They went to London 
riled up the the, the Sabinis or whatever Sabinis man, whatever the situation is, um, and Tommy got his shit kicked out of him because of that. And man, that sh scene was gruesome with the knife in his mouth. Oh my god! And right now I'm trying to not make any quick movements because. As you can see throughout that reaction, a lot of times when I move, you see me make a face. And I was seeing myself on the camera. I'm like, God damn it. I'm trying to hide this pain. But it was it was it was a great setup episode to say the least. Great start. A lot of open ended stuff. So you're not so it, you so that you have a lot of questions, which I do have a lot of questions right now. So um so they did a great job. Um, of getting you riled up to watch the next episode, which you guys know, um, depending on how I feel this weekend, cause I might just take the weekend off cause I need, I, I'm probably going to end up going to the doctor to see what the hell is going on with my body. Cause I think I tweaked something. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just going to have to figure out what it is. It doesn't seem like it's internal. I think it's, I think it's a, I think it's a muscle um, strain or pull or something because it hurts like crazy but this episode man was was a really good episode um i'm not disappointed that i didn't see grace um i'm more of like more even more intrigued to find out what's happening with her um so there was a lot of storylines um that are developing right now that i'm watching out for i want to know if it's inspector campbell that's actually manipulating the people behind the scene um that is controlling tommy that's you know making him do stuff and stuff like that so i'm interested to say the least this guy this guy that's playing sabini he's the guy that cut off jamie's hand in game of thrones so he's an asshole a dick already that i don't like even though i didn't see his face i know it i know it's that i know it's him because i know that voice um I know that voice. That voice is a very distinct voice in my head because he's the one that chopped Jamie's hand off in Game of Thrones. So I know he, he's um he's a dick all around. He doesn't play a good guy in anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to see him going up against Tommy this season. That's gonna be great to see. Um but yeah, man, it was a great episode, man. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, guys, leave a like. Leave a comment on this, and also, if the first time watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button, all right? So, thank you guys for watching once again. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. See you for the next one. Peace.